Hello free PC gamers and today we will be playing You May Nikki 2. Now you may remember a good friend and partner here at Free PC Gamers actually did a review on You May Nikki 1. Now the differences between this game and uh, the original You May Nikki are going to be pretty obvious. The main character is different, a lot of the effects although similar are going to be different and so on. It's still gonna be the same ZX controls so let's get started. I will say this this is probably one of the more tame versions or like uh, sisters of Yume Nikki. I have no idea what any of this shit says by the way. I have no idea how to read Japanese. Uh, but this is a lot more tame and it's a lot more airy it's more on the dream side than the nightmare side that was more prevalent in you may nikki one or just you may nikki however you want to say it i will warn though that this game and dot flow you might have troubles running even the english version but it's it can be fixed fairly simply by just using app locale which if you're having troubles leave a comment in the comment section and I or someone at free PC gamers can uh, quickly respond and give you help if you need something really uh, help I can probably leave something even as much as like my, my email that you can uh, leave now if you know kanji you could probably figure out all this says as far as I know it just pretty much tells you the PC is used to save and whatnot now this is where the English finally kicks in. The game flow consists of you being in your room. You go to the bed and you fall asleep and you'll wake up and or you'll dream which is the main part of the game and you wake up and you basically repeat. Uh, move arrow keys, confirm inner space or Z key which is used most often. Cancel, escape or X. I'd say just use Z and X because it's quicker. To wake up, there is a menu option called Wake Up where you pinch your cheeks. I think in the original You May Nikki, it was uh, bound to one of the keys. I think like the number line 9 key, or it might have been like the F1 key or something. Now, just like You May Nikki, this game you save at the computer and you press and hold confirm key to use any effects you gain through the game. I think there is about 32 effects in this game. Effects are found while dreaming, so on and so forth. If you've seen the original, which I'd really recommend, go and find the original. Just type in You May Nikki, Free PC Gamers. You can probably find a review for that. Wow, I'm going like a mile a freaking minute. Now, like I said, this game is a lot more tame as composed to uh, You May Nikki and definitely dot flow which I will do a review on I'd have to say this if you like sort of creepy and dark themes without as much gore I would recommend this game can uh, comparatively to the others at least do this one first as opposed to others now this game takes a lot more advantage over the uh, game system which has become sort of like there are different tropes which I'll try and like hit on. Each game is different, but they have like the same things. Like the effects will be the same, which I'll try to go on. Now this game, this is locked. These, is, uh, all the ones in yellow are locked. I won't try to go on much of this, but basically, this is like a matching game. This is like uh it's sort of like a joke it's like you may nikki within you may nikki but it's like corpse party related or something like it it i think it takes like a hint at corpse party because it takes like ghosts and stuff this is a puzzle game as can see this is yukiko yuki gu nikki which is like a snow maze or something and i don't i won't like bore you with this stuff this is pretty interesting i think that over the course of the game, this menu actually changes depending on the effects you've done, and it also changes in the dream world. This game has a lot more effects available as opposed to the original Yume Nikki, and this one is 
currently it's still in development I think I have the most updated version right now I believe I hope I'm playing that but um as compared to the original Yume Nikki this is further ahead in its development it's at 0 .30 I believe and there's like different uh, versions because this I think is the F version which is the latest there's also like E and other stuff this game has quite a few endings which I don't want to like ruin or anything tools I forgot what picture oh yeah these are some of the options in which is really interesting uh, picture you will like wallpapers so another thing is you can collect wallpapers and so on which I think is really cool because it adds sort of like the personalization as well as as you unlock pictures you will oh dream library event yeah window change menu type as you change stuff it will actually affect uh, one of the endings I don't remember which one though there are references to other games, I think, primarily Mother, but some of these menus, I think, have relevance to, uh, like, Final Fantasy and so on. I think it was either this one or a different game of the Dreamer series that actually, uh, makes fun of one of the glitches in one of the games, but doesn't actually hurt your system or anything. Uh, what else is there? You can change the music for this. Again, I really like this. Okay, so this is sort of like uh, your stat screen for you more completionist types. So the version I have is actually point zero nine eight f which I thought was... Maybe I'm thinking a different game that's at .3. I don't remember. All the games are just updating crazily. Puzzle pieces, 2%. Wallpapers, 1%. Effects, 0. Yeah, because I haven't done anything. There's a music library. I won't draw on this too long. I'll try to get to the game again I do like this one a bit more than the others because it's a bit more tame that does not mean I do not enjoy dot flow it just means I don't get like the shit scared out of me playing this game as opposed to the others this is nice uh, enough of this how do I go back alright cool and I unlocked another wallpaper okay let's just save quick alright enough messing around let's get into bed some sweet dreams oh that's adorable that's a little sheep eh? a ram why did I say sheep it's a ram uh that's another thing I didn't realize if you go on a balcony and when you're a day or like awake or whatever there's like two mountains in the distance I do not see the silhouette of those mountains I see like giant hills and I was, I'm not entirely sure if those are cars or eyes which now that I think about it, that's really creepy. Let's check out the... Yeah, there's nothing changed on the TV. And you also notice, like, the Famicom NES thing is missing. It's just one of the effects and whatnot. Alright. Now, you will notice this is a lot different compared to Yume Nikki, which utilizes doors. This is sort of like LSD Dream, dream Simulator. Or Dream Emulator. Emulator, yeah. Where, uh, you don't use doors primarily, you use sort of like, um, worlds, far, more or less. And I think every time you enter, the worlds sort of scramble, and I think some of the places lead to different places. Again, I haven't played too much into this, I've been trying to get around to it, and so on. Okay, this isn't creepy at all. Again, like I said, this game is more tame. But that does not mean it is without its own uh, terrors and whatnot. Like Uboa's face in the background, which if you've ever played the original Yubei Nikki, I would say it's probably one of the most terrifying fucking things in existence. All you have to do is piss off like your only friend and it fucking like pops out and like burns your ears off pretty much. Oh, hey, there we go. Again, one of the things that's easiest for newer players, you pretty much gotta find what is different. What the hell? Okay, so this is like a bouncy block or something? Because like every time I touch it, it bounces me back. Am I on top of dancing mustaches? I believe I am. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't remember this one leading to this room, so I think it does sort of scramble. Although I could be wrong. I believe I am wrong. Because for the most part, there's usually like a set defined path to get to d different places. Okay. Oh! This is nice. Typically what you see is what you'll be transported to. Now, I do have to warn. Each one of the Dreamers games deals with some pretty heavy material. This can range from anything such as simply as like... Uh, I believe this character suffers from like neglect. Uh, having troubles at school with like... Uh, gender identity like he slash she has troubles she's like a i believe she's transgender he she uh it's most again these are only theories as there is absolutely no dialogue through the entire game so everything you see is what you make up to you the transgender things come from the fact that she has two effects that turns her into a boy so that's why it's oh shit whoops i accidentally hit the Stop record button. <laughs> Sorry for the hiccup there. <laughs> what the hell is that? It doesn't look very nice. Uh, effects are usually given by players. What the hell? I have never been here before. This is kind of creepy. Hello. Okay. Um. I swear to God, I have never been here before. And. Which isn't uncommon, because there's a bunch of, like, maps. Um, again, this, like I said for probably the millionth time, is the most tame one, which I would begin with. The stuff dealt with in this game aren't too bad. Like I said, neglect, uh, gender identity confusion, uh, being just sort of outcast. Although, the character in this game is depicted as being more cheery as opposed to the others. Although, it's more carefree than being like... I guess she isn't really tied down to her emotions as much as like Dot Flo's character or uh, Yume Nikki's character. Is this just like Silent Hilling me now? Is this going one direction forever? I guess not. What? Hey everybody, what the fuck? Oh my god, this is actually kind of creepy. What the fuck? Okay. Regain your composure. Punch a wall. Regain your manliness. That, I swear to god, these games, although fun, do terrify me. Okay, these guys are apparently friendly, at least. Uh... God, this game gives me the shivers. What the fuck? Okay. Uh, now, like I said, it is worth mentioning to, like, go and check out some of the uh, stuff on wikis, like the theories and whatnot. But I would say, just try and, um... However, try and play some of the game that you're fixated on most playing again i would try and play this one or lcd dm uh before most stuff what the hell am i supposed to do with this apple oh now i'm stuck i'm stuck this is great this is great i'm surrounded by fucking people in like masks doing like a satanic ritual and shit okay i actually made it what the hell is this an what the fuck did I do? Oh my god, did I like cut the rope to someone's like... Whoops. Okay. I think I just committed murder. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh. It's just like they all stopped. I'm like, oh god, what did I do? Um, I must have done something. Again, you will have to deal with some of the problems as you progress through the game. This will mean, like, you might actually have to kill people in order to progress certain areas. Uh, it's just sort of part of the game. You will have to sort of just put up with it, I guess. There's not much I can really say. Okay, no, that- WHAT THE FUCK?! Uh... Hello? Hello? What do you want? 
Oh my god. This is really fucking creepy. <laughs> Why am I playing this game? <laughs> oh, that's right, I'm contractually emulated. Not really. <laughs> this is really creepy. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh god, is this one of the monsters that, like, transports you? Yes, it is. Oh, shit. It just wakes you up. Okay. Oh, I fell out of bed. Okay. Let's save quick and see if we can take another... Oh, I got... New wallpaper. Change wallpaper. Locks. There's like a quick way to go through these. Oh, you gotta go down to page. Duh. Okay. What? Oh, whoops. Okay. 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 There we go. Oh, that's from... That's what's really cool is you get like wallpapers as stuff goes on. Cool. Alright. So, gaining effects, going to certain maps, uh, interacting with certain characters, all have a chance of getting wallpaper, but you'll only be alerted to it once you come back into your room. Ugh. How about we go a bit more cheery place and try not... Oh, what the hell am I doing? Alright. And try not to get into one of the fucking nightmare worlds. God, this game... Ooh, gives me the willy-nillies. It is a lot more... Uh, tame compared to the others, which I like. So I can actually play it without getting, like, nightmares all the time. I am just running all the time. Hey, a light post. What is that? Hey, buddy. How are you? Now, each game has similar effects, which I'll go on a little bit. Uh, each character has a weapon. In this game, it's a chainsaw. Each character has, like, uh, a speed up. Or, like, a speed boost item. In this, it's a motorcycle, I believe. Uh, each character, I believe, also has, like, an ant. Oh, god damn it. I have got to stop freaking hitting the fraps button. Ugh. But, each game has, like, um, an animal, I believe... You, my Nikki, and Dot Flow share the same type, but they have different effects. Like in the original one, the character just meows because it's like a Nekomata, whereas in Dot Flow, the character uh, actually becomes a cat. Like full on, like Animorphs or something. And this one's a wolf. I think you actually get to the wolf by doing something in this area. And like you get the ability to howl, which like scares off certain characters, which can be a bonus or a negative effect. What the hell? Uh, okay. Cool. Uh, what else? Um, each game also features sort of like somewhat similar characters. There's like the usual like friend character who's thought to be the character's like friend in real life before they became sort of like a hermit. Um... I can really think of. I also think uh, can't think of much else to add. Again, there are a bunch of different theories and a bunch of different explanations. The only real way, though, is to sort of like play it for yourself, see what the game was like to you. Uh, I'd say just you have to be sort of really resilient in mind because this stuff is really like heavy. Stuff we don't really think about in our days of lives. Like, people have to put up with stuff like being uh, thought of as different just because of how they look or how they act. It's really heavy stuff, and I'm really glad that there's games out here that sort of go on this. Again, it doesn't really like dialogue. It's more of like the character going against whatnot. I don't even know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm just going crazy. And this is pretty much you made Nikki 2 or you made 2 KKI or whatever the hell you want to call it. Uh, you can pick it up at the website provided in the description below or at the Free PC Gamers website. Uh, if you may run into problems depending on the operating system and uh, what version, it's not like you made Nikki where the English version works like right off the bat. You are most likely going to have problems. Uh, I would say get AppLocale, 
uh, and just use that. The language you're going to want to use, just sort of a heads up, is the last language on the list. It's Japanese, it's like kanji, it's always going to be the last one for games like these. And I believe that is it. If you have any comments, any troubles, uh, questions about the game, leave a comment in the description below. I'll be watching, the people at Free PC Gamers will be watching the comments. If anything is the matter, we'll try to respond as fast as possible and give you the best answer we can. This is Shane from Free PC Gamers signing off. Sweet dreams, everybody.